Hey everyone, welcome to Tech2 AI. If you've been using BlueStacks or other emulators to run Android apps on Windows, it's time to switch. Google has launched their official Android emulator for Windows and it runs stock Android 14. When it comes to emulators, optimization is key. Unfortunately, BlueStacks has been hogging RAM, causing annoying lags. Google's new emulator is from a trusted brand. And in this video, we'll explore why it's time to make the switch. So let's get started with the video. First, let's talk about Google Play Games for PC. It's a Play Store for Windows, but it's only for games, not apps. Now, Google has introduced a new emulator primarily for developers, but anyone can use it. It's more versatile than Play Games, allowing you to install custom APKs and tweak settings like refresh rate and aspect ratio. To get started, open your browser and search for Google Play Games Emulator for PC. Before downloading, just check the system requirements to run this emulator. Please note that the hardware virtualization should be enabled to run this emulator. If your system meets the system requirements, go ahead and download the stable version or try the beta one. By the time it gets installed, I will show you how to check if the hardware virtualization in your BIOS is enabled or not. Open CMD as administrator. Type systeminfo.exe hit enter. Here at the bottom, beside Hyper-V requirements, virtualization enabled in firmware Yes, it means it's enabled. If your shows no or disabled, go into system BIOS and enable it. Once installed, let's run it. It's asking to enable Hyper-V. Let's do it. Go to Control Panel. Click on Turn Windows features on or off, find Hyper-V and check the box. Click OK.
Now restart the computer. This is important. I'll see you after restart. Now let's try to run it. It will take you to the browser. Log in with your Google account. Once log in, close the browser. It will take some time to open. However, there is something to note, this emulator doesn't have the navigation bar you might be used to instead. You'll need to remember a few key combinations, Control b key to go back and H to go home. This emulator has a built-in Play Store, which is pretty cool here. You'll find fully compatible apps, meaning there's a much lower chance of running into blue screens, the catches you will only find games. But guess what? You can install any app of your choice. You can install any app using a side loader. I recommend using AOW tools from the Microsoft Store. Even if it says trial, a version, it's free. Then click on help. Copy this first command, open cmd as admin and paste the copied command here. Hit enter. It will show OK now. Need to restart the computer. This is important guys, otherwise it won't work. Now we are all set. If you go back to the side loader, you need to look for a device that says online. Once the device is selected, you'll see all the info of your emulator. At this point, all you need is an APK file. I've downloaded a couple to show you just drag and drop the APK into the side loader. 
and it will automatically start the installation. Once it's done, open the emulator and you'll see the app is already installed and is ready to use. You need to keep in mind that the side loader isn't for everyone. However, for now, it's the only tool you can use to install apps. Otherwise, you need to rely on the games available in the Play Store. Now it's time to check the performance of the emulator. Let's run WhatsApp. It started really quickly without any lag. Now I will open Free Fire. Right now I can't show playing this but I have tried it and tested the CPU and RAM consumption. What I have found is the gameplay was fantastic. We had smooth graphics and overall it's ran really well. And about the CPU and memory consumption, it used only 4-6% to of CPU and around 1 GB of RAM. That's impressively low for an emulator with such capabilities, right? Now let's try Chroma Toon app. It's a most demanding app for cartoon story makers in India. This app runs only on Android. Creators find it really difficult to work on mobile. They try to some workarounds like connecting with OTG and all. I had tried Chroma Toon on Bluestack, but it wasn't opening. But here I can see it's working really smooth. So bang on, all the cartoon creator. Here you got the easy solution for your problem. So overall my opinion on Google Play Games emulator is guys performance wise it's great, works really smooth and CPU and RAM usage is pretty moderate when compared to other emulators. The only problem I see is there are no navigation tabs. We depend on shortcut keys. Other thing is installing APK using third party launchers is the extra effort we need to put. Anyhow, it's still a beta version. I'm sure all the cons will be taken care of before they release the final version. One thing to remember guys, we need to stop the apps we ran from this AOW tool itself. Otherwise, all the apps will be running in the background in the emulator. Friends, if you find this video helpful, then please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel Tech2AI. Also hit that bell icon so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. That's all in today's videos friend. See you in the next time. Take a really good care of yourself because you are precious.